Welcome to the QuickBooks University training tutorials. My name is Matt Holquist. Hey, in this video, I wanted to show you how to properly receive payments in QuickBooks 2019. Okay. And, you know, I'm using QuickBooks 2019, but this really applies to any version of QuickBooks. Uh, so it is not just unique to QuickBooks 2019. Okay, now the other thing is uh, when you receive payments in QuickBooks, this is if you are uh, preparing invoices for customers in QuickBooks, okay? So if you're not preparing invoices, uh, this is not going to be the way to show a payment in QuickBooks, okay? So there is kind of a, an order sequencing depending on, you know, what type of business you have and what type of customers, et cetera, you have. And so you want to follow the proper procedure. So in this case, this is if you send out invoices for customers you, and you get a payment, you have to record that payment in QuickBooks. Okay. So a couple things. Uh, first off, there's a couple ways to get to the receive payment screen. We're right here on the home screen. You can see here under customers, we've got receive payments. Pretty simple. Okay. Or you can always go up here and go to customers receive payments. All right. So this is after you have sent an invoice and you get, let's say a check in the mail or an ACH or whatever the case may be. Okay. So we go to receive payments. Okay. So what you have to do here is you first say, who's it received from? We're going to say this is received from Robert Allard remodel. All right. You'll see that the invoice automatically shows up that he has outstanding. So let's assume, let's say he paid the full amount. So let's say 14510. We're gonna tab over there. You can put in a check number. Let's say 12345. You're gonna say what the payment is. Okay. And you'll see here it puts a check mark. So it's gonna automatically apply that to that invoice because it's that amount. All right. Now let's say that he only paid 10,000. Okay. Now it's going to apply 10,000. It's going to leave the other 4510 outstanding. And you'll see here, it brings up this underpayment. When finished, leave it as an underpayment or write off the extra amount. Uh, in this case, we leave it as an underpayment. Okay. So I'm going to put it back at 14,510. All right. And you'll see that that box down there disappears. Okay. So now when you receive a payment, this trips up people a little bit. Sometimes you see this link here. It says, where does this payment go? Okay. Uh, in QuickBooks, it's going to default to put this money to an account called undeposited funds. All right. And I'm going to show you where that is. If you go up to edit and preferences, okay. And you choose payments and go to company preferences. You'll see here, it says use undeposited funds as a default deposit to account. All right. So what that means is uh, QuickBooks will group these deposits. So let's say that all week you're getting deposits, you know, you're just accumulating these checks. You go to the bank once a week uh, or whenever, but you don't go immediately when you get the check. Maybe you do. I don't know. But essentially, it's going to group these into this account called undeposited funds. And then when you go to the bank in QuickBooks, or when you go to the bank and make the deposit in QuickBooks, you have to go to banking and make deposits. Okay. So this, we get the 14,510, we hit save and close. And then if I go to banking, make deposits, you're going to see that the 14,510 is right there. Okay. So that's an important step. You need to make sure that you move it from undeposited funds over to the checking account. Okay. That way you'll see it in QuickBooks and it'll match what you have in the bank. All right. So that's it. When you're receiving payments, uh, there are some other situations, uh, that, that can arise. Maybe you have an overpayment, et cetera. We go through all this in the QuickBooks university training tutorials, uh, head on over to qbuniversity.org, check out the training, and uh, love to see you over there.